What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day, folks. It's Monday, the start of a new week. It is April 8th, just a couple of weeks away before we start to see the most powerful XRP movement we have experienced all year. We woke up this morning. Crypto is looking beautiful, folks. Absolutely beautiful. Bitcoin. It's testing its all-time high, its new all-time high. But what levels are we currently looking at for Bitcoin? To know that we entered the super cycle. I got you covered. Don't you worry. We're going to talk about a major prediction coming from the one and only Brad Gallinghouse. And what's going to happen in 2024? Because he's thinking... And I think Brad knows something that these crypto markets are about to absolutely explode. I mean, he's pretty much thinking that we double the market cap. And you know what? That's not even the best part because Q1 is when the fireworks go off. We're going to a seven to ten trillion dollar cryptocurrency market cap, folks. If you don't think XRP is going to break its all time high, you don't think Bitcoin's breaking 125. I got something else coming for you. Without further ado, sit back, relax. Let's jump into this thing. Bitcoin, seventy two thousand three hundred and thirty seven dollars. It's currently up four point zero nine percent in the past twenty four hours. Ethereum coming in at three thousand six hundred nineteen. It's up six point six two percent. You. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs as XRP is up 1.73% has finally broken 60 cents coming in at 0.608. Remember the key number we are looking for for XRP which is coming May June time frame is for a retest and a break above 75 cents. Everything for now is just noise. 75 cents is the level we need to break and get above Bitcoin. How do we know when the super cycle has started? We need to see a close above 74. We get a weekly or even better yet, if we get an April close above 74,000, the gates are open. Let the flood of money, let the flood of the cryptos begin. But we're not out of the woodworks. We still have a halving event in about 12 days, I believe. It's 12 days away. You know what happens when the halving occurs? Usually we see the markets dip on down. Will it be different this time? That's the question. We're about to find out in two short weeks, folks. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $2,711 trillion. Now we got some exciting news coming over from the Lux Lions team. My project, my NFT project, the largest project on the XRP Ledger. We released these founder editions. Now you're probably thinking, rip, $2,475. Come on, man. Listen, these founder collections NFTs, they're basically free. Why? Well, because you're getting five, uh, 15, 15 NFTs that are giving you one point on the deluxe list. Price of 15 NFTs is 2475 bucks. So if you're going to buy 15 NFTs from us, you get yourself a founders package because you were going to get founder NFT airdrops. You're going to get a free founders metaverse plot of land. You can get founders discount codes that are going to be randomly sent to your email that you can use on qualifying purchases for the months to come. And you're going to get founders whitelist access to NFTs that are coming out on other blockchains. Wink, wink, hint, hint. What do you think about that, folks? And then you get a beautiful minimalist. You get the founder NFT on top of it. You get 15 points, which is going to make you earn XRP back each and every single month. There's only a limited, super limited. We're only releasing 1% of these to our community. Uh, they sold like hotcakes this weekend. You know, and it's just to show how strong the Lux Lions community is and why we are the number one project on the XRP ledger. A lot of people are going to hate, let them hate. But we got the numbers, we got the stats, we got the community to back it up as all these other projects are trying to simply survive. Not Lux, folks. Bitcoin may rally to 80,000 on a triangle break is what a technical analysis is saying. Bitcoin's triangle consolidation has ended with a bullish breakout, which has opened the doors to 80. Thousand, according to analysts by 10x research the latest breakout comes on the back of a blowout u.s jobs report interesting isn't that early monday bitcoin rose past seventy two thousand dollars passing through a triangular consolidation pattern identified by a resistance line connecting march 15th and march 27th highs and a supporting line connecting march 20th and april third lows. If the breakout is bullish, which we suspect Bitcoin could climb above 80,000 during the next 
few weeks. Love to see it. And if we don't, you know what? We could get a drop down back to the $65,000 range. Here's the breakout. Here's what we're looking at. We could come back down and retest this and go back and test. Remember the liquidity zone I told you about on Bitcoin, 60 to 64,000. The CME gap right around the 64, $65,000 range did get filled, but we can still come back down to the liquidity grab zone around 60 to 64K. And to be quite frank with you, I wouldn't be upset if it did. Let it get back in there because it's going to bring the rest of the market down because I still have a crypto that I'm looking to buy that I missed the boat on 8 cents and now it's up to 11 cents. Yeah, it just, it doesn't stop. I just, I need to get in. I need to get in. I might, I might have to readjust my position. Hopefully we get down to nine cents. It just hurts buying something that's up 120%. But my eyes are still on the price, folks. Don't you worry. Bitcoin, Egrad's chiming in on this. He goes, this pattern, it's familiar. A significant bearish candle succeeded by a bullish Bitcoin candle on the weekly time frame, followed by a major pump over the next few weeks. If history repeats itself, he says we're looking at 100K by May. Interesting thoughts, isn't it? Now, do we get 100K by May? I don't know. Are we going to see $100,000 Bitcoin this year? Yep. Are we going to see above 150? It look, it's looking possible. A lot of people are now adjusting their targets, calling for closer to a $200,000 Bitcoin. All I know is that this is the most bullish we have ever seen the crypto markets, especially with the ETFs entering the space. The institutional money is here. We're going to get an Ethereum ETF. We're going to get an XRP ETF. You are going to see these cryptos go absolutely parabolic. The, listen, if we can get an XRP ETF, Q1 of next year, when XRP is about to hit its prime and rip, forget about it. 7, 10, we could even get a blow up parabolic top closer to that $20 range. That is what we are cheering for. Fruition products, almost, I think they hit 1 million views. They got an XRP Unleashed new docuseries that's coming soon. Listen, I'm proud of them. Good for them. Sharing the story getting crypto people involved, a lot of the XRP community. It's unfortunate I didn't get an invite. I don't know why. That's okay. I'm not upset, but I'm proud of what they're doing. Kudos to them. A lot of people are hating on it. I have no idea why. Let them do what they want to do. I think this is amazing. I think what they're doing is only bringing you know, more eyes onto XRP and onto the XRP ledger and to the community. That's great. What harm is coming from this? You know, you're not going to always agree with what someone is doing or what they're making or creating or talking about, but you don't have to, right? Not everyone is always going to agree on everything that someone's going to do, but you don't need to. That's the beauty of this, folks. Now we get this. I'll touch you about on, on the next video. Ripple CEO. This is interesting because this came out on a Sunday. Predicts that the cryptocurrency market cap will double. To five trillion by the end of 2024. Sean McBride said five trillion by end of year. Meanwhile, the global business to business payments markets was valued at 72 trillion in 2020 and is projected to grow to 174 trillion by 2030 with an annual growth rate of 11.9 percent. Here's the article. Brad Gollinghouse says he expects the entire value of the crypto market to double this year, citing the arrival of the first U.S. spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund and upcoming Bitcoin halving. The overall market cap of the crypto industry is easily predicted to double by the end of the year, and it's impacted by all of these macro factors, Gollinghouse said. One of those factors is seeing the push into crypto markets to new highs is the possibility of positive regulatory momentum in the U.S., and we know XRP already has that regulatory momentum that is driving it. He stated, I've been around this industry for a long time, and I've seen these trends come and go. Gollinghouse told CNBC, I'm very optimistic. I think the macro trends, the big picture things like the ETFs, they're driving for the first real-time institutional money. What have we talked about on this channel? Institutional money is going to raise the price of crypto to somewhere we have never seen before. The public our money, the general public's money has taken crypto to $2.7 trillion. Institutional money is going to at least, at a very minimum, 2x that, folks. We're going to go even higher. And that's just this year. Remember, 
2025 is when we expect the real fireworks in the beginning in Q1, even leading into the start of Q2. That's where we're going to see that $7 trillion, all the way up possibly to a $10 trillion market cap, where we're going to see those blow-off tops. And XRP, as we look at it, I mean, it's sitting at $0.60. Cents. We still have a long ways to go. But Brad was very, very, very optimistic that this was going to be a great year. Remember his tweet, the LFG? XRP, all-time high. Listen, we haven't seen all-time high since 2017. That is about to come to an end. There is a reason I come to this channel each and every day, keeping that positive momentum, keeping the positive vibes, because a lot of people are losing faith in XRP. And now is not the time to lose faith. Now is the time to regain your faith and to regain confidence because this thing is about to skyrocket. And we've been in it for this long. There is no reason to jump off this ship early, folks. I don't believe it like that. Listen, wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.